So, today we talk about quality of life changes, improvements and small tweaks that I'd like to see happen at some point in War Thunder. We shall soon reach the end of the second roadmap that Gaijin showed us earlier this year and, like the first one, this roadmap implemented numerous positive changes to the game like the ability for your injured crew to heal over time or to have a separate battle rating for planes in ground battles and air battles. However, there's always room for improvements, especially in a live service game. The first thing I'd love to see improved in the game is the new player experience. War Thunder is a very technical game, and I think there's a huge lack of tutorials to help you learn all the different mechanics of this game, and there are a lot of mechanics, especially when you reach top tier. Now, the wiki can provide valuable information about the game, I will not deny that, but that's still forcing players to search for help outside of the game. And when you start War Thunder, you don't immediately know the usefulness of the wiki. I believe providing new players with more information would help them avoid some simple mistakes, like I still see players bringing 80 plus shells in their Tiger 2, for example. Or that would help them dive into other game modes, perhaps like simulator battles. Even at 2000 plus hours, I personally still don't know how to take off with a plane in air simulator. So uh, yeah, I feel like assisting new players learn more about the game would help them a lot and their teammates as well. Let's talk UI now. The menus of War Thunder are severely outdated. I don't think they changed that much since like 2016. Is that a massive problem? Not necessarily, but I think Gaijin has put more effort into adding a pop-up telling you that you could buy a premium vehicle on a discount rather than telling you when there was an event going on. The event tab doesn't feel like an event tab at all. All enduring confrontation game modes should not be hidden in this tab, especially since they are active 24-7. Put them in the main menu and reserve the event tab for when there's an actual event going on, like when we had the submarine battles, the football matches or the current event about flood planes. Also, it would be nice to have in this event tab all the holiday challenges which can get you free cosmetic items like stickers or decorations for your tanks. Unless you check your holiday tab from your challenges menu every day, you will definitely miss those rewards. And that sucks because it's free customization. Let's now move on to the battle pass. I'm not here to tell you that the current battle pass is terrible. I think everyone knows that already and what I'm more interested in are the challenges. War Thunder might be the only game I played, with a battle pass in it I mean, which has its progression locked for new players. Every daily and main missions require you to play at minimum at rank 3 and higher. You technically have one daily mission at rank 2, but you won't get far only with those. That means that if you don't have a rank 3 vehicle, you're screwed and cannot progress in it. And that's just the tip of the iceberg here, because most of the time, those main missions need you to possess vehicles from different classes. Heavy, light, tank destroyer, etc. From different tech trees, ground, air, naval, and sometimes from different nations. I think War Thunder needs to massively rework its battle pass design. Just like daily missions, give battle pass challenges to every mode, air, naval, and ground, and separate them because some players don't play naval or ground or air at all. Also, please, keep the challenges simple. Keep them kill related for instance, and let's avoid the ones promoting chaos in ground battle. Chaos is already frustrating as it is, thank you. It would also be nice to remove the time limit on the main challenges. Not everyone can dedicate their life to the game, and most battle passes I've seen have a retroactive system. Like in Warframe, for example, where you can get all the challenges that you missed if you complete the current ones. Or don't have time limit at all, like in Apex Legends. If you start at the last week of the battle pass, all the previous challenges are still there for you to grind and can be completed at the same time, which is great if you start the battle pass pretty late in the season. It allows you to catch up. Finally, make it so that new players can benefit from the rewards of the battle pass by lowering the rank requirements for those main missions. Imagine how helpful it would be for a new player who's just started the game to claim like 100k silver lions 
from the battle pass or even a research booster. The last change I'd like to see in the game is related to test drive. It would be nice to turn the test drive into a shooting range where you can select which enemy vehicle you want to spawn and shoot at. It would help players learn about weak spots, armor effectiveness at range, etc. I know that we technically have the armor simulation for that, but ah, it's not the same really. Now, I know that from a business point of view, those improvements are not lucrative for Gaijin. However, I still believe that a happy player can quickly turn into someone willing to spend money in a game. Whether it is because they have a good time, or because it's a way for them to reward the devs for their work. So those were my ideas, once again they'll probably never make it to the game, but who knows, a man can dream. Let me know if you think those propositions make sense, and tell me if you have some ideas as well. After all, it's our responsibility as players to give constructive feedback. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.